Hey team, welcome back to another episode of Hungry Hunter. Today we'll be doing a salt bake snapper with a snow pea salad, so let's get into it. Food is so much more than just what you put in your mouth. It's a connection to both the land and the sea and the animals we hunted to acquire. This show is dedicated to sharing that lifestyle with you. We'll be sharing simple tips and tricks as well as our favourite recipes for wild game and seafood feasts. Cooking both out in the field and in the comforts of our kitchen at home. Welcome to Hungry Hunter. This season of Hungry Hunter is proudly supported by Dog and Gun Coffee, makers of bloody good coffee ready for adventure. Well, the first step in today's dish is going to be preparing our salt crust. So what we've got here is about two kilos of salt. Well into history, it's been a preserving method for all different types of game, you know, pork, venison, uh, red meats in general, um, and, and obviously fish. And we're going to mix in one cup of water. So it's half a cup for every kilo of salt. So the next step is the egg whites. And like the water, it's two egg whites per kilo of salt. So I'm mixing up a pretty big batch right now and I doubt I'll need it all but I thought I'd rather have too much than not enough. So this is the part where if you've got kids, you know, get in there, get your hands dirty and you're trying to mix that salt and egg white and make sure that egg white's really mixed in there because this is how we're going to cover our fish. So the consistency you're looking for with this is sort of, sounds a bit strange, it's sort of a doughy consistency where it just sort of all clumps together and actually stays together. You don't want any dry sections. So that's looking great. So that we're just going to line the bottom of this baking tray. But you're probably looking about a centimetre and a half. You just, you don't want it to be um, thin enough that it sort of will crack when it starts to dry out. Sort of leave a little bit there reserved. I'm going to move this fish back. So it's perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stuff the cavity. Um, so we've just got a little bit of lemon. We're going to put in here our garlic, parsley and dill. So that's just going to help marinate the fish while it's cooking and our salt is going to keep it nice and moist. So you just continue on with the, the salt. Obviously you don't need to season your fish. It's going to be well seasoned. Um, but it's not over seasoned because a lot of this is just, like I said, it's just to keep the moisture in there. It's not actually going into the, the flesh. If you've got kids, a great one to do with them because it really is a lot of fun. Just the tail. And we've got an oven preheated fan force 180 degrees and it'll take about 20 minutes, so we'll put it in there now. Well, our fish is well on the way now, so we're going to get started on this um, snow pea salad. So the first step is just taking the peas over and I've got some water boiling over there with some bit of salt in it and we're just going to blanch these really quickly. So these guys have only been in here for about a minute now. It's a super quick process. You just sort of flash boiling them. Um, the next step is we're just going to take them over to the sink to stop that cooking process because if you cook them too much, they go rubbery. Let's get some paper towel and pat these dry. So those snow peas are done now and realistically you could eat them like that, they taste great, a little bit of salt, um, but we're going to sort of fancy it up a little bit um, with a little light summer salad and we'll get our balsamic um, dressing ready. So we've got one tablespoon in first, one tablespoon of olive oil and then also one tablespoon of honey. So that's going to be sort of a sweet vinaigrette which is going to counteract our feta that you can see sitting in front of us which is nice and salty. And then also our, um, we've got some roasted almonds there that we caramelised earlier in a pan. So that was really simple. You just put it in there, dry pan, um, and you're just shaking them around until they start to go brown. We'll just lightly cover our beans in that. Start playing it up because that fish is nearly ready. Put a little bit of the almonds on and a little bit of this feta. So that's sort of a salty sweet combination 
and really good with those snow peas. But we'll clean this all up and we'll get the fish out now. All we gotta do is just sort of crack in. And you're just trying to remove all that salt. You're digging your, your fish out. You can see all the water coming through. So that's all the moisture that's been trapped in the salt. Spatulas out and dig this bad boy out. Another gentle recovery. There you have it. You can see all the moisture in the actual fish itself. I know there's still a lot of salt on it, but what you, that will all come off once you actually peel the skin off. And I promise you, the flesh inside is going to be that succulent. Just a couple of final touches. We'll just give it a little bit more dill. and a little bit of our salt crust and the lemons. Salt crusted snapper with a snow pea and balsamic vinaigrette salad. This fish was literally caught yesterday and my family's gonna be eating it today.